The AC uh, has been involved in so many controversies in recent time. The image, I can say, that has not been the best as far as public confidence is concerned. What are you and your team going to do as a matter of urgency in trying to rebuild public confidence in this institution? We know the EC has gone through a lot of problems. Some of them, uh, generally, it has not been very, very good. But I think that we are well poised. We understand the challenges ahead. We appreciate the opportunities that have been given to us. And I know moving forward, we are going to ensure that the EC continues to be the brand that is highly attractive, that becomes a center of lesson drawing for other state institutions to look up to. Most people have a lot of confidence in you people because of the objectivity you have demonstrated in your private work. What do you see as a possible challenge in the discharge of your duty to the best of your abilities? No, I'm not, I'm, personally, I'm not anticipating any serious challenge. I think as a commission, what we are committed to doing is that to run a system that is very fair, that is transparent, that will ensure that the voters are those who are going to decide. Elections is not about theory. Elections is more about practice. We are going to do it in such a way that what the people will choose will be at the end of the day or the individuals they will select will become those who will be leading our country at the district level, at the parliamentary level in that manner. So I think that the team, the commission is highly committed to ensure ensuring that we do that and with that I know we are going to do a lot of work for our country. In terms of initial observations I would say there's a lot of a lot of work that must be done and I believed uh, your viewers and your listeners uh, heard the president when he, he laid out some of the activities that must be done. I know there's supposed to be a referenda in some regions not in all the parts of the country, that one is there. And apart from that, uh, there was a high court decision that the Electoral Commission must come up with a roadmap for the implementation of ROPA. So looking at it from that perspective, this year a lot of things are supposed to take place. And I believe that the members of the commission as well as the staff of the commission, they are enthusiastic about doing something which will project the image of our country. So talking about the uh, conducting a referenda uh, towards the creation of new regions and the district assembly election, that will be probably next year. But I think the immediate one would be the creation of new regions. A lot of time has already been spent and um, the minister in charge of regional reorganization was talking about likely having these regions created by September this year. How are you people uh, going to raise against time to be on schedule? Let me say that four new commissioners have just joined the block and we are looking at these issues. I know within, within maybe the next one or two weeks, we should be able to come up with a time table. But one thing which is very certain is that I'm very optimistic that at, by the end of the year, this will be done. But when you look at the arrangement, the requirement of the law, etc., we need to ensure that it is done within this particular year. We have till December, almost four or five months for the year to end. So I think we have enough time to be able to put our houses in order, to be able to put the necessary structures in place. And once the state is highly supportive of it, I don't see why we will not be able to deliver. Maybe we may not be able to meet the deadline of September, but what is very certain is that it will be done.